Now, uh, last year, Madonna famously ditched, uh, moving on a little bit, a little different discussion, Madonna famously ditched her long-time record label to join concert promoter Live Nation in a $120 million deal. And with her latest world tour just announced, deals have now been extended to raise money from the secondary ticket market. Joining us for more is Eric Baker, CEO at Via Gogo. Eric, thanks for joining us. Now, I understand you've been signed up to basically as a partner with Live Nation for the secondary ticket market. H how does this work? Because if... Normally, if I had a ticket for Madonna's concerts and I couldn't go, or I wanted to resell, I, I'd just go into the black market, would I? That's right. Uh, people always are selling tickets and, and training them if you can't make a concert. Unfortunately, in the past, you'd have to deal with touts on street corners, go down to the local pub, have no idea who you're dealing with or whether or not you're getting an actual ticket. Um, what we do at uh, Viagogo is we've got a safe, secure way of letting people trade without dealing with the touts. And now, by partnering with Madonna and Live Nation, her fans can do this safely and securely without having to worry. So, so what do they get? Do you pay them a flat fee or do they take a cut of every ticket that you trade? What's, what's, the, what's the business model for you guys? Well, we're a partner with the European Tour. So basically, as any partner with a premium ticketing, secondary ticketing partner, there is a partnership fee, a sponsorship fee that they get. But that is a flat fee rather than participating in each uh, ticket resold. Eric, Brian Shackman here in the US. The US a analog is, of course, StubHub. And let's face it, the secondary market is extremely lucrative, especially when there's high ticket demand. That's where the money is. So this is a way for uh, Live Nation and Madonna to keep that money in-house, you know, to capitalize on that market instead of letting the black market get the money they get to keep it and you get to keep it. What's this going to do to the consumer? I mean, these tickets are already hard to get. They're already very expensive on the secondary market. Uh, how is this going to affect these ticket prices? Well, I think there's, there's two points in there where you talk about the ticket prices and the consumer. Uh, the first is, again, in the experience we've had with Viagogo and, and I founded StubHub in the States, is that by taking the black market away, in the past, consumers had to go to these scalpers on the street corner. There was no way to compare prices. You didn't know who you were dealing with. So while you may still pay a premium to get a ticket to go to one of these concerts, it's actually going to be less than it was on the black market. The second thing is that, as we're working as the premium ticketing provider for them in Europe, is that a lot of VIP packages and premium tickets that in the past may have been held back for corporations or may have been held back for certain uh, non-public sort of friends of the tour are now going to be available uh, for the general public to buy. So, so we think it's a very positive thing in terms of the accessibility of concert tickets. Okay, and, and, and tours are ever more important as well for these artists. Um, good to see you. Thanks very much, Dee, for joining us. Uh, Eric Baker, CEO of uh, Via Gogo. Well, we'll